Is what anybody going to confess it? Yes! yes. Every girl oh, wow. I do. likes to take control of her wedding. So what happens when she has no say on her big day? Oh, they are awful. We're not doing it. Don't tell the bride is back. This is ridiculous. As ever, the grooms are in charge. I want there to be a donkey at the wedding. I'm going to look lovely on our big day. But with £12,000 to spend <gasps> and just three weeks to throw the wedding of their dreams... <laughs> ..have the boys pushed themselves too far? Oh, my God! You're fired! ..with more shocking... More outrageous and more daredevil weddings than ever before. Will there be a happy ever after? This is not the thing you get wrong the day before your wedding. Will true love save the day? Mum, what is that? Mum, what is that? Or is it a countdown to disaster? Three, two, one! Tonight. Selfie time. Car fanatic Wesley. This one, my new love, my baby. Call it Leona. Has fast and furious ideas for his big day. You might have to get police escorts right, as well, you know. Right. That's how serious it is. No joke. But with Beyonce Rena dreaming of an intimate wedding. I cannot believe I've and done this. I'm such an idiot. What happens when a convoy of cars? I'm looking to do a convoy for if you're available. Yeah. Become the star attraction on her big day. I'm you know, around in there. Whether or not Rena's going to kill you. With the bridesmaids speeding towards a rampage. Let me tell you a little something about your man, yeah. Do the best men become the driving force? Yeah, yeah, or is this wedding heading for a breakdown? Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Oh gosh. Doesn't want to carry on because it's not what it's not what he wanted. Look at you in that dress. Girl, you dangerous like a gun. Give them you nothing less. Girl, you murder everyone. Your love is a killer. 22-year-old Wesley fell in love with his schoolboy crush, Rena when they were just 17. From the time I saw her, I would say that I liked her. Like, I thought she was hot. But for these high school sweethearts, it wasn't exactly love at first sight. He had a huge afro before he cut his hair. And um, I didn't really like it at all. And then he cut it off. Yeah. And that's when I started to like you. My mum decided from there, you two are staying together. <laughs> so that's it now. Yeah, no more girlfriends. The relationship soon blossomed outside of school, and three years later, Rena discovered she was pregnant. Enjoy that. She's dancing in the car, like, what's wrong, like, what's happening? She's like, I'm pregnant. Oh, our face is like... Oh. <laughs> I was excited, but scared. To support baby Ethan, Wesley left university and took a job with a supermarket chain, while Rena continued her studies in social work. I wouldn't want to rely on anyone else. I want to be the one to support my own family. Like I said, like, it's a sacrifice I was willing to make. I'd rather her go back to uni first, get her degree. To help out, Wesley's parents invited them to live at their home in London, where the men are outnumbered and overruled. It's kind of a madhouse. My three sisters, my mum and my dad. Wesley! Yeah? Are you hearing me? Get up now. All right. All right. Now. OK. And then me, Rena and Ethan. Sadly, not all the family members were happy about this lifelong commitment. When I found out I was pregnant, I was thinking, oh, my gosh, I didn't know how I was going to tell my family. Not being married and having a baby is a big thing in my culture, being Indian. When I spoke to my dad, I think he was more um, upset that I wasn't married and that I hadn't, hadn't finished studying and I had a lot to achieve. I think it's really difficult for him to come to terms with that. So, yeah, he hasn't spoken to me since having Ethan. After all she's been through, Wesley's determined to prove to Rena that he's in this relationship for the long haul. And on her 21st birthday, he had his proposal all wrapped up. We went around the house on my birthday and found all these presents, and there was only 20 presents. And then he made me play past the parcel, and it was my engagement ring, and then he proposed to me. Headstrong Rena plans on starting married life the way she means to go on. No, eat it. It's going to be kind of scary, man. Your car's not priority right now. It's actually motorbikes. I don't care if it's motorbikes or cars. She doesn't beat around the bush with anything. She doesn't like, like your hair or what you're wearing or anything like that. She'll tell you straight away. She's proper, proper stubborn. Living with five strong women, the men in this family have their own ways of staying out of trouble. Grand that shit. Yeah. Listen to reggae music. It's a dub wise fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Even baby Ethan's no stranger to that end of the garden. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a quiet guy, simple guy, very easy guy, relaxed. 
I'm the person who does all the domestic stuff. I don't I mind washing, that I do the cleaning, I make him all the food, take you your food upstairs, give you a drink. I like calm. You'll go sit in the car and chill out a bit. But Wesley doesn't just escape to his car to chill out. There's a little more to it than that. This one, my new love, my baby. Call her Leona. Wesley loves cars, whether it's buying them, fixing them, or just being near them. All he cares about is cars. Changed the exhaust, made it from two and a half inch to three inch. When he gets into it, like, he'll buy a new car and he's out there for hours, and it just really frustrates me. Spending that much time on a car, it's ridiculous. It's worth it. Changed up the steering wheel, got a nice green one. Cars is a getaway time for me. I like to modify cars. I like to be different that way. I like my car to stand out. When he found out we were having a boy, he was just so excited. He was like, I'm going to teach him how to drive cars. I'm going to tell him, he's not even born yet, and you're already teaching him to drive a car. And Ethan loves cars now. He might know a lot about cars, but Wesley will really have to get his brain into gear to plan the biggest day of Rena's life, especially when Rena knows exactly what she wants for her wedding. I'd like something small with the people that are really important to us. Rena may want a small wedding, but Wesley wants to make a statement, a big statement. It's going to be big. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be something to remember, right? She won't forget it. Wesley desperately wants the best for Rena, and he has her best interests at heart. I want to somehow like, get a mix of like, the traditional Indian wedding with the big music, uh, maybe Indian dances kind of thing, big decorations that they have, uh, nice, bright and colourful. But rena has got very different ideas. I think I'm quite picky in terms of how things look, in terms of like elegance and stuff. I don't want it to look tacky. I think having like these bright colours everywhere just won't... For me, I just don't think it'll work. <laughs> and there's one thing a Wesley wedding just couldn't be without. Like a nice, long convoy of modified cars to follow our wedding car. I want people in the street to be stopping and looking at what's going on here. Kind of. that's, that's my concept. I want to turn heads. I tried to do that with my car, so why not do it with the wedding? An expert in modifying cars, Wesley is planning to go full throttle when it comes to wedding planning. I feel confident in my ideas about it, in my ability to actually go out and organise it, maybe 50-50. And if he gets it wrong... He just has to remember that you're spending the rest of your life with me and I will make it hell. It's time for Rena to say goodbye. This will be the first time Wesley and Rena have been apart since becoming parents. Be good boy. Give mum a kiss. Not wanting to disrupt life for their son, the couple decide that baby Ethan will remain at home. But Rena's staying with a friend nearby so she will still see him every day. For an anxious Rena, it's a final chance to give Wesley some gentle words of advice. Do not screw it up, I'm telling you. Do you know what's going on now? Hold it, hold it. Give me more kids. The next time Wesley will see Rena will be on their wedding day. Party time. Bye-bye, Mummy. Say bye to mommy. Hmm? It's fine. You get to see her tomorrow. I don't. Right. See, that's why you're not bothered looking. All smiley. <laughs> oh, man. She might not have any say in her wedding, but right now, leaving her son is the only thing on Rena's mind. Just the fact of not being able to wake up in the night and give him his bottle and stuff, that'd be hard. But, yeah, I will miss him a lot. Hopefully my friends will keep me company and make sure I'm doing all right. Rena's staying just around the corner with bridesmaids Hayley and Nicole. <laughs> oh, bless God. Are you scared about what he's going to do? I don't know what he'll do. I think he will either really screw it up or do really, really well. If he messes up, he's going to have three crazy chicks on his back. So. Obviously, he's going to pick things that he likes. That means cars. Oh, I forgot about the cars. Oh, Rena, what have this you done to be a long... Let's hope it's going to be good, because seriously... I do, I'm doing all of this, and then he completely screws it up or kill him. So will I. So I'll will absolutely I. kill him. The message is loud and clear. Oh. In his mission to give Rena the best possible wedding, he's requested the help of two best men, who happen to share his creative drive. 21-year-old oh. Seb and 22-year-old Umzi, who've been watching Wesley's back since high school. Seb and Umzi, they are pretty much double acts. They're crazy together. That's what I'm most worried about. They will think of the most craziest ideas and he will just bounce off those ideas and just make it 100 times bigger and worse. Time to get down to business. Should we do a toast? <laughs> <laughs> I can't the, boys, really reach. the boys are back. <laughs> <laughs> you seem too confident for me and it's scary. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. What do you mean? You're not it nervous at all. You. 
Like, What's the point of being nervous, like, bro? You just gotta get on you, and do it, you innit? You, you've run weddings before. Mine will run the wedding. Have you, you planned the wedding before, Wiz? I ain't planned the wedding before. Have you planned the wedding before, I've wedding before I've sir? I've never planned the wedding. Oh. I turn up at weddings. Yeah. Just get allocated a seat. I sit down. I say, ooh, mm. she looks nice in that dress. It's not long before the conversation turns to their favourite subject. Is it gonna be like a lot of cars and both? I'm hoping so. Looking to get like a massive convoy. Beamers, Mercs, even little like Saxos. Uh, you're gonna get maybe some hot rods there, muscle cars. Okay, so you're looking to have about, what, 15 modified cars? Race up, come turn through, on, turn park on, up. and then you come through in your car. Yeah. It's like his, yeah, whole, his whole entourage is coming with him. That's it, bro. Gotcha. I like that one. Yeah? Yeah, that definitely could work. You know, if you miss whether or not, Rina's gonna kill you. Bro, if I ain't messing with or not, that ain't gonna happen. Rina will kill you. It won't happen, though. Are you 100% sure? 100% oh, cool. Fueled with ideas, the boys head off to find a wedding venue to fit their 120 guests, plus a convoy of cars. German whip, driving a German whip. See man driving a German whip, black out window leaning back. See man driving a German whip, look like a bowler, please or not. Running like a bowler, see man driving a German whip. Who told you when I came back from the back? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The first pit stop for our petrol head groom is historic Strawberry Hill House in southwest London. This famous 19th century landmark holds both wedding ceremonies and receptions. Better still, it looks like you could fit a lot of cars up that driveway. Damn, this place is nice. One, man. One. Yeah. This is perfect for the cars see to build. Definitely see the cars being lined up along here. I can see it. Like, I can see your Lambos, your Rolls, your yeah, everything. I've my Rolls here. Rolls Royce, the Ghosts. The Lambos, the R Rates, the, the Beamers, everything. You might have to get police right escorts as well, you know? Right. That's how serious it is. No joke. I was looking at that last night. What, police escorts? Yeah. Blue lights, motorbikes blocking up the, oh, yeah. the T junctions and all that. Mm. Well, nothing says wedding like motorbikes blocking up a T junction. Where's? This is the one, fam. This is the one. Confident with their choice of location for the convoy, sorry, wedding, the boys wheel themselves away from the driveway and into the ceremony room. It's looking nice, bro. This yeah. is it's different. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. And then you have got the option of going next door into the ward okay. suite. Looks pretty good, but there's still just one thing on Wesley's mind. Would it be right to have a row of cars going round for the guests to come, get in and... Leave. And move. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, the turning span's quite small, so you don't want big buses or anything like that, but that would be fine. Yeah. Actually, do you think a Lambo would fit through that gate? It should be all right, innit? I really like it. Get a nice vibe off of it. You can see the wedding happening there, definitely. With enough space to hold his convoy of 15 cars, Wesley is about to make his first big decision. But Wesley lives with his mum. Hello. And mother wants a say. Yes, well, We found a place uh, that I really like. Mum, if you see the place, it looks amazing. What was that? <laughs> you know, I love this, isn't it? One second. Yes, mum? <laughs> <laughs> now you're not Googling this now, mum. I've got to go. It's not even that. It's just I want to get off the phone. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give you a call back, yeah? Bye. Well, mum approves, at least. Time to seal the deal. But there's a problem, and they're standing on it. The floor was actually made in 1862. Oh. So whilst we have no restrictions on footwear at all, I think dancing on it is a little bit unfair. Um. You prefer it dance. if you don't dance so we can respect the floor. What do you mean respect floor? This is a reception. Who doesn't dance exactly. at a wedding? What are we supposed to do? One, two step. Who does one, two step at a wedding? Oh, no, that's too much for them. What is this? So strong. Look, look, at, look at it from a positive side, isn't it? Yeah. You found the, the place where you can get married. Yeah. Yeah. I'm loving that. Yeah, but we can't dance. But we can't <clears> dance. <throat> Sorry, that, that's, that's the other bit. So mm. now we need to find a place <laughs> after. But the main thing is. I can see Ethan running around. I can see Rena, like. I can see Rena crying. Like, yeah. out of happiness. Yeah, me. I can see Rina crying, saying, oh, my gosh, I didn't think yeah. Wesley had it in him. Yeah. Little did you know, he had it in him. Yeah, me. Mm. Right now, I'm thinking, just book that for the ceremony. Feeling it, was there? Yeah? yeah, bro. Let me see a smile. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye, take care. It may not work for the reception, but it does have a lovely driveway. And so Wesley books his ceremony room for £1,500. Selfie time. She go shaking like red nuts, hey, like red nuts. She go shaking like red nuts, like a red nuts. She go shaking. Hey, what do you do? Right. Gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal. Slow down. While the boys celebrate, Rena and bridesmaid Siobhan have been reunited with baby Ethan. Oh, boo boo. 
Hello, my darling. Give Nana some. Mummy, mummy, and Siobhan. Oh, what are you laughing at? You're laughing at Siobhan. It's only been two days, and I really want to go home. It's really hard. I just, I'm ready to go home now. But, but it'll be worth it. I hope. Rena knows exactly what would make it all worth it, and with not a car in sight. Hi, I'm Rachel. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Kew. She's come to Kew Gardens in West London to show the bridesmaids her dream venue. This is so pretty. Oh, I love it. It's really grand as well. Yeah. As the sun sets, it put the fairy lights on. Yeah. And then have like nice flowers going around it with the fairy lights in it, so you can't really see the wiring because that will annoy me. <laughs> it's the detail. Yeah. Isn't it? the detail. it has to like I'm talking to the tea. Like right? she knows exactly what she wants. She really do. <laughs> Wesley also knows exactly what he wants. He may not have a venue for the reception yet, but he's not going to let a little detail like that distract him from the most important thing. Are you ready? His dream convoy. Are you ready? Now he just needs to find some supercars for it. So the boys are heading to the world famous Ace Cafe in North London. The petrol heads Shangri-La. This is, yeah, this is like my little second home. This is, this is my little relaxing spot. Come out, check out the cars, get some nice pictures, and then go back home to the madhouse after. Yeah. Look how different it is. But back at the Botanical Gardens, Rena's proving the old saying that people in glass houses probably don't want a convoy of cars ploughing through their wedding. You can have drinks all around here? Yeah, so champagne and canapes blowing around. Are you OK, Rena? Oh, dear. Oh, man, reality's ticking in. It actually is now. <sighs> I cannot believe I've gone and done this. I'm such an idiot. Because he's going to completely screw this up. Let's go! Let's go! Back at Ace Cafe, the boys are spoiled for choice with pimped up cars aplenty. What kind of car do you fancy? Uh, I'm liking the variety of beamers that they got in there today. There's quite a few of them. Now, all Wesley has to do is convince some of them to come to the wedding. Trouble is, he doesn't actually know these people. I'm looking to do a convoy. If you're available, I'd love to have you down. Obviously, you're invited to the wedding as well. Welcome to come and have some food, have some drinks. Yeah? Mm. All about, like, a little bar show, like a little event. Just, just give me a shout, yeah? Yeah, definitely, man. Lovely. Nice to be, man. Nice to get many of us to see if we'll be down to come down to the wedding and show off the car a little bit. Yeah, definitely. How many cars have we got in total now? Uh, what? One, two, three, four, five. In, to in total, we've got about nine cars. So far, yeah. And just like that, Wesley pads out his guest list with nine random people he's just met outside a cafe in North London. Let's hope they show up. Go get Ethan, left them with the mum, so make a move. It's the beginning of week two, and the boys still need a reception venue where people can dance. Wesley's pinning his hopes on a hotel conference room a short drive away from the ceremony venue. Also perfect for his convoy of cars. This is really good. You like it? This. I love that blue as well. I love that. But Wesley has one major concern. You guessed it. Now, we've got quite a few nice cars that are going to be coming down, a couple of Lamborghinis, Porsches, stuff like that. So if it's all right, can they be lined up like, around the front? And then... It will allow cars and dancing. And Wesley's quite taken with the place itself. It's just nice. It's, it's more than nice. It's, I'm lost for words, man. I've never really been lost for words this whole time until I saw this. So. Yeah. Wesley shells out £5,000 for his dream wedding reception plus catering. Added to the £1,500 he's spent on his ceremony venue, he's blown half of his budget already. It's lucky his all-important convoy of cars won't be costing him a penny. It's the middle of the second week, and still hoping for a small, intimate wedding, Rena has brought Hayley, Nicole and Josie to Ealing to show them her dream wedding dress. Hello, nice to meet you. Did you have any dresses you had in mind? I've been looking at, like, A-line dresses. A-line? Being brought up in an Indian culture, um, I'm used to seeing the red traditional dresses that they have. Um, so, um, seeing people with white wedding dresses and stuff. I just think they're beautiful, and I'd really, really like to get one. So I've been really into it for quite a while. So white wedding outfit, yes. Red sari, no. And hoping to give Rena her dream dress, Wesley's headed for 
a sari shop. Sari or lenga? I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry? Yeah. I can choose. But Wesley has bigger plans than just getting a sari. I budgeted a grand for Reno. So you're going to give her two dresses? Yeah. What, one for the reception? One for the reception, one for the ceremony. OK, cool. So a sari for the reception and a white western wedding dress for the ceremony. Talk about making it hard for yourself. Could we get someone to try on this one and then yeah, okay. I have a white one as well, yeah? All right, sweet. Do you want to just wrap it around me? <laughs> I didn't mind. Yeah, want, okay. If you want yeah, to, yeah, tell them. Yeah, that'd be all right. Just Taking it, it off for the team, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make a good bride, innit? it? <laughs> cool, man. That's what it'll be like, bro. Yeah, I like that. I really like that, yeah. I think she should wear them more often. But Rena wants a dress she'll only wear once. Need the help? I might keep out. On the most important day of her life. Just suck me in. I'm scared. I'm dreading the day that we're going, she goes and tries on I just hope that yeah. there's many dresses that suit her. You've got faith in Wes? Oh, gosh, this is her Yeah. <laughs> Do you? No. Oh, I was going to say, I don't. I'm just trying to sound positive. <laughs> Oh, my God, Rena. Oh, you look so pretty. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, my days, it's beautiful. I love it. You look stunning. OK, I need to stop. <laughs> yeah. You're crying, man. Yeah, I just love you. Ha! And you said you wouldn't cry. <laughs> Please, what have so you bad. done to us? This is actually really depressing, because I'm not getting this dress. How much is it? One, six. You're going to buy me 1,600 pounds. Oh, no, this is really bad. I don't know what I'm going to do. You won't think white wedding dress. It's silence. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Oh, he's thinking white all right. It's just that he's the one who'll be wearing it. It's nice, you know. I like this. I like this. It's nice blingy. Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't want to get engine grease on that. Make a right mess. Oh. Swear down. You like yeah, the house, isn't it? That's a bit. <laughs> Where is it? Stay there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wesley spent £175 on his own outfit, but he still needs to choose one for Rena. So, in true Wesley style, he just asks some random strangers. Can you get a picture of all three of us? This is embarrassing. <laughs> you know this actually suits you, bro? Yeah, yeah it does, bro. I mean, that one looks good on you, though. Yeah, it looks nice, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Wesley budgeted £1,000 for both Rena's wedding dresses. And he spent £400 on the traditional Indian outfit. Hey, that was a good shopping trip. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. But with Rena dreaming of a dress costing over a grand and a half, will his 600 be enough? Did you know any styles you'd like to go for for your bride with? Uh, no. Satin, simple, what elegant. Some lace or satin. What satin? Satin is. What's Uh, yeah. It's very elegant. Mm -hmm. That actually does look nice as well. That's actually beautiful. Mm. Look at that first one. So is it good? A potential. Yeah, I guess. Actually, what's the price range of these? This one's for <laughs> one thousand four hundred and fifty pounds. Okay. <sighs> this dress is one thousand one hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Mm -hmm. And this one's one thousand four hundred and eighty pounds. I think all of those might have to go back on the racking. Is it out of budget? That's way out of budget. What were you looking to spend? I was like, come around like the 600 mark. You might have something close to that price range. Something like this. Very simple, very elegant. See, all of a sudden, that looks really good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, it looks really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's similar, nah, to, it's similar well. to them, yeah. Similar. yeah. You don't have the flowers, you've got yeah. the lace in this one. Yeah. I'm just wondering, yeah? Do you think we've done the right thing by buying the other dress? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Right. Wait, how much is this one? Uh, this one is 800 pounds. He's got a point. It's your wedding dress, isn't it? Like, yeah. It has to be done right, isn't it? It has to be done. done. At the end of the day, we've got to get it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy like that. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Rena chose an ornate ivory embroidered lace gown with a sweetheart neckline. Thanks, Wesley's bye. gone for a plain white satin dress, costing half as much. <laughs> After spending another £360 on outfits for the boys, by the middle of the second week, Wesley spent almost three quarters of his budget on venues and clothing. It's time to rein in the spends. First port of call is to his auntie to help with the cake. These are going to come around and give you a hand if you need it as well. Really? Yeah. 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 You could do some whippings for me. <laughs> <laughs> we got the wrist action, you know? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
and it's off to Southall Market for the bridesmaids' dresses. Two smalls or one small? Two smalls. Two smalls. <laughs> well, see, you've got to give us that motto, though. Yeah. Chip, chip. <laughs> and lastly, matching accessories for the bridesmaids. Can you, you can give a good price yeah, for this, yeah? yeah? Uh, I don't know how good. to me, darling, yeah? <laughs> I can see the goodness in Brutal. you. A <laughs> hundred pounds lighter. And the bridesmaids are sorted. Look at Wesley. He's got a smile <laughs> yeah, on his face today. I'm happy again, bro. <laughs> <laughs>Week three and the day of the Hindu, but Rena has been told to leave the house because the girls are about to receive their bridesmaid dresses. If I look like this dress, yeah, it's gonna be a problem, a really big one. And when they do arrive, there is a big problem. I'm not happy. I'm not impressed at all, whatsoever. Yeah. This will not fit me. Oh my god, I can't wear this. I can't believe that is my body. <laughs> 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 now, literally, Leslie, yeah, it's gonna get. Real talk, mm -hmm. yeah? Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Yeah, I told you I was gonna wild out today, and it's happening. This ain't happening. Look, can we try them on at least? We have to try them on. Right, girls, we make anything look sexy. Let's do this. Point. Okay, no, let, no let's... I don't even think I can make this look sexy, if I'm honest with you. Right, and I'm so... hot. Luckily, Wesley's mum's arrived to restore some sanity. Oh, look at it! <laughs> look it. It's too big! This is a joke. You look gorgeous, I don't know what you're wearing for. I think it's a joke. She didn't want red. It's one colour she said she didn't want. She might have just lost the bridesmaid, to be no, fair. I don't think they're bad. They're not. I think they're nice. And what you lot need to do is focus on Rena. Don't go upsetting her with it. Yeah. So we just say, All right. oh, it's only cute. three days left. And you don't want her turning into some kind of crazy woman. Not a great start to the day of the hen. And the stag's about to kick off. Where else but a garage? All right, Wesley. Yeah. We've got a little sign to tell you. We know that you're one of them guys that'll be underneath the engine fixing stuff. Yeah. So we booked this all in for a spa. <laughs> <laughs> for real? Yeah. yeah. We're going to get your eyebrows done, facial, waxing, the whole work. Uh, Everything. I don't know about waxing, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, like, nah. Back second crack. <laughs> <laughs> Finally reunited with Rena, the bridesmaids are on their way to the hen. But the Bollywood drama over their dresses has left at least one of them reeling. I hate it. Really? I absolutely hate it. I'm furious. I don't want to wear it. I want to scream the place down right now. Wesley's mum to the rescue again. Tell them to suck it up. It's your day. It's not about them. Focus on you. I want everyone to be comfortable, but if that means... If the dress literally does not fit you, then obviously you cannot wear it. Or you can walk down the aisle and that will ruin my photos. Huh? Not, not saying that you'll be honest. Ah, ah. <laughs> God, I'm really bad. As the bridesmaids get closer to their secret destination, the guessing games begin. Shit, man, he's taking us to the freaking forest. This is so annoying. I when, hate it. Where, where's he going to turn to? There's nowhere to turn. He's already pissed me off once today, yeah. Better not do it again. Oh, I'm like... Arriving at an adventure centre is not what the girls had in mind for a Hindu. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you a little something about your man, yeah? You're gonna hear some words from me. I'm Shall I wear a tutu? Let me put it on. Let me. Yeah. I, mean, I love you, but seriously, you need to reevaluate the situation. It's my hen do. When you have yours, you'll be all right. What? 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 Wally, give them Wally. Give us Wally. Wally. Oh, Wally. Wally. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> seriously. Look at look. I need a drink right now. Yeah. I'm not. Having <laughs> Across town at the beauty parlor, the boys are getting in touch with their sensitive sides. Something. Where, what can you see? Are you going to know where? Oh, it's hot, What's that? What the hell do we get up on that? Oh, my God, that's insane. Look at it. So if you haven't already guessed, this is what you're going to be driving today. Good old-fashioned American monster truck. Do they have hydraulics? So we can the only just keep hydraulics going. you've got. <laughs> 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 Actually, not. No. Damn. Yep, a Hindu plan by Wesley just had to involve cars. Oh, my that's God, it. this is so high. What? Or in this case... Massive truck type car crushers. It's like a bus, you really don't know where it's going. With the men, it's moved on to massages and manicures, and not for the first time. How does it feel to get your nails done, mate? It feels cool. You've had it done before? Yeah. Their love is like unbreakable. They've been together since school. He's more like quiet, humble. If there's something upsetting him, he'll just keep it to himself. But Rena's the type of person to, to let it all out. Yeah, she'll scream, scream shout, and shout. And let it all out. And scream and shout, they certainly do. <laughs> Thank 
Thankfully, the monster trucks have gone down a storm. That was awesome. Well done, really cool. Wes. Yeah, well done, yeah. Wes. I did. Awesome. And you restored my faith again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only slightly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Refreshed after their face pack and pampering, the boys hit the town. While Wesley goes full throttle on his night out, the bridesmaids will have to slow down oh, hi. Hello. for a sharp turn to the east. Wesley has sent me to do your bridal henna for you. Oh, henna, wicked! Wesley's arranged for henna, the traditional Indian bridal decoration, in a nod to Rena's heritage. So it's just hands. Hands and feet. Ah, oh, wicked. Cool. Yeah. I did not expect this. But subtle's not in Wesley's dictionary. He wants the full works. He wants the full arms. Full arm? Well, what's full arms? Um, he wants... They come up there, like... Yeah, the... yeah, he wants it to come, like... Sleeves. Yeah, <laughs> basic full sleeves. He wants traditional full yeah, bridal makeup. Have full yeah, have full so it looks like Rena will be henna-tastic for the wedding day. <laughs> Back on the stag, it seems Rena's well and truly made her mark on Wesley too. Anybody caught your eye? Nah. What do you mean, sir? Rena's not here. Have you seen how many girls are out there? Hey, nah. Wes! Wes! Wes, you find a new wife, please? Wes, come here. I need to hide it. Wes, if you're a bad boy, I ain't no get bad boy. Get right now. If you're a bad boy, get in. If Rena hasn't got you on Smash, get in right now. I'm on Smash, blood. Hey, Wesley! Hey, Wesley! That's right, the Wesley Rena. Me and Rena went to school. We were like, where we think we're at now is so different to what we thought we were going to be at back then. Like, I think I've probably thought that you would more than likely be with an Asian guy because that's what she was into and stuff like that. That was her type. But it turned out she's marrying a, a black guy, a West Indian guy. It really goes to show that you just don't know where life's going to take you. It's the morning after, and Wesley's not exactly firing on all cylinders. I woke up with a dirty headache, dirty hangover. Yeah. yeah, it was a good night, very good night. Luckily for him, Wesley's little helpers have not been idle. As I was out on my stag do last night, I had my two workers here making invitations, my lovely auntie and my mum. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's lots of things left to do, so Wesley hits the shops to buy the all-important wedding shoes. Wait, I'm sure it. All right, all right, I'm yeah, sure it. We're gonna have a problem with them stiletto thing, man. Like, everything's a stiletto. Does the shoe matter that much? Not really. It goes something proper basic like that. If Rina sees a nice dress and a dead shoe... It's not a dead shoe, bro. We'll go with the dress. Shoe. That's a dead shoe. Well, that's no. not like that. Um, that's actually quite nice, though. Yeah, it is nice, but that's what I'm saying. If it was in white, then it would... Because it's black here, it doesn't yeah, matter. you can't tell. That's not an because, ankle, because the yeah. dress is going to cover that. This bit. is the main bit. If this yeah. was black and this was white, then uh, yeah. you could say, no. Nah. I think we've found the winner here. Yeah. Final choice, yeah? Let's go over it, man. The shoes, it's not that important. Let's hope so. One tick off your box, mate. On to the next box. Bring this hair and makeup. With hair? Yeah, I think we can do that, but with makeup. Yeah, we can it... do that. We can do that. How? I know how to do that. <laughs> For real? I worked on Mac and Bobby Brown and Yves Saint Laurent. I know how to do that. It's like, it's, think of Rena as your car. Your car is black and green at the moment, right? You chose that colour because mm -hmm. they match. You're not going to put green, green alloys on a red car, are you? So it's like Rena, she's going to be in a white dress. You need to match the makeup to her. You can't go and put, I don't know, brown on. Do you think I think like that, bro? Yeah, but that's what you need to think like. That's why I got you here. Car. That's why I got you here. Let's do that. Let's modify Rena. <laughs> yeah. It's the day before the wedding. I'm so scared. So scary. Wesley's plan to keep Rena's Indian style outfit a surprise for the big day. So she's about to try on her Western style white dress. 
I'm worried about the dress, to be honest. I'm absolutely freaking out. Like, on the, on the train, I was, like, swaying back and forth like a crazy woman. So I don't know. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, I need it. Rena's dream dress cost £1,600. But Wesley chose a much cheaper one to make way for a second Indian outfit. So this is your dress. OK. Are you ready to see it? No, but... <laughs> I've no choice now. OK. Oh, gosh. OK. Yeah, I'm ready. Um... <laughs> How do you feel seeing the dress now? Um, I think I like it. I don't know, you, you know what? I'm actually quite shocked. Ready to try on? Yeah, let's try on. Okay. I've got yeah. the feeling yeah, like, in my yeah. belly, like, ooh. Yeah, it's coming. Adrenaline. It's been, like, three week build-up to the dress. Yeah. It's not yeah. about the wedding, it's about the, the dress. dress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. That's more important. Well, not more important, but it's more important. No, it is. It's more important. It's more important. <laughs> if she doesn't like, she'll be like, I'm not wearing it, I'm not going to the wedding, I don't yeah, care, yeah, it's not yeah. happening. She'll probably cry, she'll probably, we'll probably yeah, have she to will, talk with me. Just she walk, yeah. she walk out. Yeah. Oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you like it? I didn't expect something like this, to be honest. And it's something oh, that you don't, don't need a lot of jewellery for. <laughs> hmm. It looks nice. Um, could have picked worse. I do like it. It's just a bit too big down here. Should I see the back? I don't like the back. The material is not a material I would choose. But yeah, okay. Not exactly overwhelmed then. Maybe the unimportant shoes will turn things around. Um, oh God. Wesley got you this. Why are they black? I don't... But why are they black? It's got black in it. Cause it's Wesley, isn't it? I don't know. I don't like the shoes. I don't like the shoes. I don't think any. I think I think I can speak for all of us when we say we don't agree on the shoes. Who brings shoes in a Morrison's bag? Black and white shoes. The dress is nice, but then the shoes have completely ruined it. I don't know what to do with them. Then you're not wearing them. Simple. They're not happening. I'm not wearing them. I'll go barefoot. Time to call Wesley and stick the boot in. Hello. Hi, Wes. Who's this? Everyone. Everyone. The bridesmaids. What's up? The shoes. Really? What do you mean, really? They look banging. They're hideous. And it's black. And they're awful. Uh, you know, I, I ain't got time for this, man. I've got to speak to you later. What do you mean? No, what? No, she's no, not wearing... No, 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 Wesley, you're not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not... No, 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 no. You're not listening. She's not no, wearing... No, 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 bye. I've got stuff to do, bye. What do you mean? <laughs> oh. oh, my God. I can't believe you just did that. Is he serious? They hate them. Whose? Which shoes? The shoes, innit? What, Rina's? Yeah. They hate them? Yeah. They just hate the shoes? Yeah. Because really not idea. Who, me? Are you mad? Yeah, yeah. Which one do you do? Yeah. Hey, listen, who wants... I'm who so happy that you man said... Hello. Hello, Wes, listen, your wife to be... Look, listen, I can't talk to all of you like, at one time, yeah? If you're going to talk to me, talk to me properly, but one of you. Why is he being okay, rude? OK, Wes, I'm talking to you now, OK? Rena's refusing to wear the shoes. All right, I'll sort it. I'll have to sort that out. All right, then. Bye. Bye. All right, bye. With the bridesmaids taking control, Wesley's being brought to heel. Look, he will on. fix it. He will fix it. <laughs> He knows he has to fix it, cos he cannot take all of us at one time. He knows he has to fix it. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. I thought you knew Rena, not. Shut up, I thought bro. you knew Rena. I didn't mean to love. You know what they complain about most? The black in them. Oh, they ain't gonna see it. That's what I'm saying. Oh, of course, you're gonna have to deal with it. We chose it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We ain't got time to change stuff. Bro, we sort out everything else first. At the end of the day, she's got shoes. The actual dress is beautiful, and I like the fact that he thought about the fact that I don't like my arms, so he got me a nice shawl. So, yeah, he did a good job, but he's, he, he didn't need to be rude, to be honest. I'm actually shocked of how he's just spoken so I am. I'm very disappointed. I don't think... I mean, cool, you're under stress, you're under pressure, bright, greenzilla, whatever, but, yeah. Breathe it out and The rudeness, properly. unacceptable. We're going to have to have words after this wedding. But back at home, shoes are the last thing on Wesley's mind, because he's got car trouble. On the eve of his big day, planned entirely around a convoy of cars, Wesley's just got news that due to a big car show in Southampton, none of the cars he invited at Ace Cafe can make the ceremony. Hey, Wes. Yo. Uh, let's put it to my minute. No, 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 no. Just need a bit. No, just... Take three minutes out. Yeah. It's the night before the wedding and his, his big idea's fallen through. Like, he doesn't even know... We don't even know what to do. We're struggling. Like, we intended on having, like, a lot of these Fast and Furious-style cars turn up and have a large convoy in. Yeah, like now we've received a phone call saying that they can't they can't make it. It's making Wesley feel like he doesn't want to carry on because it's not 
what, it's not what he wanted. I wanted the cars to be a major part in it, you know. Being told that yeah, they, they can't make it. Like, Wesley trawls the internet, desperately trying to find anyone willing to bring a half-decent car to the wedding. Ah, uh, man, I don't know the odds. As night falls, Wesley has no idea if his car convoy is full speed ahead or if this wedding is about to crash and burn. I don't know just how it happened. I let down my car. It's the morning of the wedding, and unaware of Wesley's convoy calamity, the girls have a calamity of their own. I leave my cigarettes, I'm getting really panicked. It's like, what time? Oh, and my hair's not done. Wesley has given bridesmaid Siobhan instructions to do the bridal makeup, but she's nowhere to be seen. Can you call her, please, and say where the hell are you? I am kind of worried that Siobhan's not here to do my makeup. And uh, as a bridesmaid, she should be here. Rena wants you. Hello? Listen, you do realise you're doing my makeup, innit? Yeah, Mum. Daddy's going to marry Mummy today. Across town, the boys are busy decorating the reception venue. Wesley still has no idea if any cars will actually turn up for his convoy. But if he's nervous, he doesn't show it. You've got to be calm in a time like this. So if I'm running around panicking, I won't get it done. Over at Haley's house, bridesmaid Siobhan has finally turned up. <laughs> Hello. Hey. I was supposed to be here two hours ago, but better late than never, huh? Time to see what Wesley has in store. He wants her to have cheekbones, bronzer, mascara. He wants her to look like that chick, basically, which is Tattoo. really out of order. At the wedding venue, the guests have already started to arrive. <laughs> yeah, nerves start to kick in a little bit, just a little bit. I feel good about myself, and I feel good knowing that I've got those two boys helping me out whenever I need them. I'm. It's been a long few weeks. It's been good. Meanwhile, an anxious Rena is about to see the bridesmaids' dresses. I'm actually freaking out. I'm really worried. Because if they're horrible, then that means the wedding will be horrible, isn't it? Are you ready for us? I'm really not ready. What the f is that? The colour, I'm a bit like, huh? <laughs> I didn't expect that. I told you! What is it, Indian outfits? Uh, I think so. You best love us for the rest of your life, I'm telling you. <laughs> Sit. Are you leaving it like that? With all his car issues the night before, Wesley's neglected to change the shoes. They're not wedding shoes. They're not wedding shoes, but I think I, I will wear it for Wesley. And with everybody ready, now it's only the locals they're holding up. Are you actually serious? Go, 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 go. You have to go, go, go. Yeah! Yeah, we're going! Just give us a minute! Stupid man! Can't you see what's going on? Like, really? Since Rena's immediate family aren't attending the wedding, she's travelling with best friend Siobhan. So, normally, you'd be in here with your dad. Yeah, that's true. But I've got to respect... ..their decision. ..their decision and, and their and wishes. respect. Yeah. It's all right. Known you for long enough. Mm. Known you practically all I'm, my life. I'm your mum and your dad. Yeah, you're the bestest friend ever. <laughs> I think you just need to be really grateful that you've gone from not even knowing where or how you was gonna even be with Wesley to your wedding day. Yeah. Marrying Wesley. I find that really insane, actually. Coming up to five years and we've been through a hell of a lot, but in the end, I'm actually sitting here in a wedding dress. Exactly. That is amazing. At the venue, everything is in place. Did you say a little prayer? Uh, the people that are here are the people that care about you most. And for the people that didn't show up, they're going to miss one hell of a wedding. Yeah. Yeah. So let's do that. Turn yeah. over. Yeah. Turn over. Amen. Amen. Outside, the bridal car has arrived. <gasps> wow! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! How did he find this place? Absolutely insane. I'm gonna stop crying. Oh, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Please stand for the arrival of the bride. After three long weeks apart, the wait is over, and it's time for Rena and Wesley to take their vows.
I, Wesley Jonas, my fee. Do take the Rena Grohl. Do take the Rena Grohl. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I, Rena Grohl. Do take the. Do take the. Wesley Jonas Matthew. Wesley Jonas Matthew. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful, lawful wedded husband. <laughs> Did you say lawful? Yeah, lawful. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Reno, I give you this ring as a sign of my abiding love and devotion. Wesley, I give you this ring. Wear it with happiness and pride. Now and always. Now and always. It is therefore my pleasure to declare that you are now husband and wife, and you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Has done an excellent job. This place is beautiful. I love it. <laughs> they look so silly. They are. They are. They're like oh. two peas in a pot. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, show, no, no. show, 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 show. Okay, what's the show? Okay. This is the show. Okay. Keep it yeah. us. Sure, we're not going to take some credit. We're taking all credit. I didn't think he could pull it off, but he's done really well. Rena's happy. We're happy. Everyone seems happy. Sun shining. Let's just see what we got to go on to because I'm sure there's still a few more surprises. And the next one is waiting for Rena on the driveway. Oh, no way! Wow. After Wesley's frantic plea for help, a couple of drivers from Ace Cafe have saved the day. That's dream right there, man. I have this lineup with that. Yeah, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much for coming on. And thank you, thank you. It should be me sitting in there, not her. Wait, wait, wait. you in the phone's burning, room's burning, and I'm sitting in the corner with my phone burning. Why does it always end up like this? Something that we don't. fallen for husband Wesley and the cars. I'll drive it away in a second. Even mum's in a spin. See me and my new round. Everyone's revved up and having a good time. Wesley might prefer to stay here for the rest of the day, but he's got a wedding to get on with. Against all the odds, Wesley's got his convoy, even if it is only three cars long. Wow. wow. That's impressive. I know you're like, he came from Southampton. Really? Southampton. Oh, that's lovely. That's what I'm saying. I'm not convinced right now, because he's just... It's amazing. So did you miss me? Of course I missed you. Yeah, I missed you. <laughs> This is what I wanted, the people just staring at me. The newly married couple have arrived in supercar style. But what will Rena and her bridesmaids make of Wesley's wedding reception theme? If indeed there is a theme. Wow, it's impressive. Wow. wow. Oh, well done, Wes. Yeah. Wow. Oh, no, that's not funny. That's really rude. I'm pulling it by leg and they just can't There's no actual Indian thing to it. There's no theme no, to it, it really. Really. It's quite plain. It's just flowers and chess. Maybe the theme will become more obvious when Rena sees her evening outfit. Oh, my God! Wow. 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 Look at it. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. I like this. That's really nice. That is beautiful. It smells like India. <laughs> I genuinely hate red, but I'll wear it for Wesley. Even the boys are following suit. <laughs> and with some traditional Indian entertainment, it looks as though Wesley's wedding fusion of India with supercars has been a roaring success. First of all, my wife and I would like to thank Everyone. <laughs> Biggest thank you comes to Rena, making me the happiest man in the world. Thank you. <laughs> if you don't know, my name's Umzi and this is Seb, and we're actually Wesley's um, side men. Um, or his best man. Best men. Best men, right? <laughs> Wesley, I'm happy for you because obviously he was the class geek. He's a different guy today. 
He looks different too. <laughs> he wore glasses for a very long time. <laughs> Today I had to beg him to take them off. <laughs> now he's photogenic. <laughs> but a beautiful bride and a handsome groom. Three, two, one, to the bride and the groom! And the boys make good use of that dance floor. I just can't believe that three guys, especially two crazy ones and a quiet one, could plan something like this. I can't even explain how happy I am right now. I am so happy with everything. Not, not even just the wedding, just, just you in general. You're just an amazing person and you, you really, really make sure that me and Ethan are always happy and we, we are always well looked after. So thank you very much. Alright, don't blow. Your head's already growing. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna be big headed for you. You're gonna have you're, to deal with me for yeah, quite great. a while, man. I've, I've just realised that now I'm gonna have Anytime, to deal with you. Anytime, yeah. Because you've done such a good Anytime job. Anytime I do something wrong, I plan your wedding, though. <laughs> Next time, thrill seeker Craig plans an adrenaline fueled wedding for his country girl bride to be. You make us a bride. Bang. Oh. But with Ellie hoping for a more grounded day. I dread to think what he might be thinking. What happens when a skydive and a bungee jump take centre stage? Oh, my God. Can Craig get his head out of the clouds and pull off the most heart-stopping wedding? <laughs> or has he stretched himself too far? Oh, man. Are we getting married at some point? I feel so alive.